Hey friends, it's Mr. Daniel again, and it's a beautiful day out here. But we're about to have a beautiful story about Paul and Silas. So buckle up and get ready for that. Let me pray for us to start our day. Father, as we open your word to see what you say to us, please open our hearts to hear you. Uh, teach us what Paul and Silas did that was so important that you put it down in a book 2,000 years ago for us to read. Be with us and protect us as we go today. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, here we go. Hi, friends. Today, we are going to be learning about Paul and Silas sang to God, and we are reading off of Acts 16. And where do we find Acts? We find Acts in the Bible. And we, why don't we read the Bible? I don't know if you remember, but last year in VBS, we learned the Bible is true. It's absolutely true. Everything the Bible says is absolutely true. And we are going to learn, we're going to read from Acts 16, where Paul and Simon is saying. So, Paul and Silas loved Jesus. They loved to share the word and the love of God with other people. Paul and Silas were sent to jail. They had done nothing wrong, but Paul and Silas did not complain. At midnight, they sang and prayed to God. The other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, the earth began to shake. The prison door shook open and the chains on the prisoners became loose. The jailer had been asleep. Now he woke up. He thought his prisoners had escaped. Paul called out to him, we are all here. The jailer took Paul and Silas to his house. He washed their wounds. He gave them something to eat. Paul and Silas told the jailer and his family about Jesus. The jailer and his family believed in Jesus. They were baptized that night. The jailer was happy because his whole family believed in God. The end. Well, friends, that is the end of our story for today. Remember, the Bible is true. It's absolutely true. Everything the Bible says is absolutely true. And that is it for our story today. I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, I'm here with both our craft and our scripture activity today. I thought it would be fun to do an activity to combine those two things. Um, so you will really enjoy this. It is really easy and fun to do. Um, so let us get started. First, let's review our scripture verse that we've been learning. Go and tell the good news about Jesus. Mark 16, 15. So we've been learning that the past couple weeks and hopefully it's starting to sink into your brain. Um, what you will need for this craft, particular craft is you'll need a copy of the scripture verse and you can, I'll send out one you can print or you could just write it on a piece of paper like this. It's up to you. I know some people don't have printers at home so you can just write it. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, and then you also need some construction paper like this. Um, so let's get started. We're going to make a puzzle and if you've never made your own puzzle before, it is really easy and you can do this with lots of different things um, after I show you how to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper and you're going to cut it. Now here's the cool thing about this. You can make this as hard or as easy as you want. So for one, um, for one idea is I could just cut it maybe into four different pieces like this. And so I have just four different pieces to piece back together. See, so I think a lot of you can do a four piece puzzle, 
But some of you, that's just perfect, and that will be the perfect amount for you. The other thing you can do to maybe challenge yourself a little bit is you can just cut out some crazy curves like I'm doing and make, you know, like a 10-piece puzzle. I don't know. Get, you can get crazy with it. Um, <laughs> but the more you make, the harder the puzzle is going to be. So I'm going to do that. So that's what you can do, and you can spend time cutting it how you want it. But let me show you some of the finished products I did. Um, so here's an example of a four piece puzzle. So I just put all my pieces back together and I glued them on my construction paper. Remember I told you to have your piece of construction paper. Um, and then let me show you what I did next or to complete. So I already started this puzzle. Um, and now I need to finish it and find the other pieces. I made mine a little harder if you can see where my lines are in that puzzle. Um, so it was a little more challenging for me to put back together. So I have my glue um, and all I need to do once I've cut out the pieces is start, like I said, start gluing it together um, back in the spots. And that can be a little tricky. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to put that down there. Let me lay it flat on my table so I can get it in just the right place. See, there's that piece. Um, and I think... Whoop, I confused myself. Oh, that's from a different puzzle that I did. Um, and then here's my last piece um, that I need to put on. See, it's a little bit tricky. I even confused myself. I had too many pieces floating around. Um, so, and then I'm going to put that piece right there. There we go. And I've completed my puzzle and I have my scripture verse um, on there. So it's a real easy craft and a way to practice your memory verse. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for joining me. Bye.